Today we're going to learn about triangles. Triangles are polygons with three sides. See? One, two, three. But there are different kinds of triangles and we classify them by the length of their sides. Using this classification we get three types of triangles. Isosceles, equilateral and scalene. In equilateral triangles, all the sides are the same length. Can you see how it's formed? Good. So this triangle is equilateral because its three sides are exactly the same. In an isosceles triangle, two sides are the same length and one is different. See how it's formed? Great! So this is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides and one different one. And finally, let's look at a scalene triangle. All three sides are a different length, see? Easy, eh? A scalene triangle is the one with three different length sides. None of its sides are equal. Maybe if they didn't have such strange names, it would be easier to remember them. So let's look again, just so we don't forget. All triangles have three sides. And depending on the length of their sides, they can be classified like this. An equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal in length. An isosceles triangle, two sides are the same length and one is different. And a scalene triangle. All three sides are different in length. Easy, right? Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. To understand what that means, watch this straight line become a polygonal line as it forms several sides which eventually close. And what do you see? A polygon. Easy, right? A polygon is made of several elements. The side is each one of the segments that form the polygon. The vertex is the point where two sides meet, a corner. And the angle is the space formed between two sides that meet at a point. There are many kinds of polygon, so we classify them in different ways. The first classification we can make is if they are regular or irregular polygons. A polygon is regular if all its sides and angles measure the same as each other. In these images you can see all the polygons are regular, the sides and the angles are the same. On the other hand, these polygons are irregular because their sides and angles are not equal. Another way to classify polygons is by the number of sides they have. Polygons with three sides are called triangles. Those with four sides are called quadrilaterals. And with five sides they're called pentagons. With six sides, hexagons and so on. There are many more. Now, let's find the polygons in these pictures. Look carefully. Can you see any polygons? Good. As you can see, the pyramid, the boat sails, these buildings, and the panels of this hive where bees make their sweet honey are all polygons. So, Let's remember the important things about polygons. A polygon is formed by a closed polygonal line and the space inside it. A polygon has several elements, sides, corners or vertices, and angles. A polygon is regular if all its sides are the same length and all its angles are equal. And a polygon is irregular if the sides or angles are not equal. Polygons can be classified by the number of sides they have. 
If they have three sides, they're triangles. If they have four sides, they're quadrilaterals. If they have five sides, they're pentagons. And if they have six sides, they're hexagons. So, now we know about polygons. Interesting, don't you think? Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. The word polyhedron comes from Latin. Poly, meaning many, and edro, faces. So its name tells us that polyhedrons have many faces. Polyhedrons are geometric bodies formed by several polygons. They have volume, that is, they occupy space in three dimensions, width, length and height. A very important thing that you also have to know about polyhedrons is that they are formed by three different elements, faces, vertices and edges. Observe this building and we will go discovering the three elements. As you can see, this building is a polyhedron formed by quadrilaterals, which are polygons with four sides. Well, faces are the polygons that make up the polyhedron. The edges are the sides of the faces and the vertices are the points where three or more faces meet. Now, observe this pyramid of Egypt and we will discover its faces, vertices and edges. Easy, eh? Polyhedrons can be classified in many ways, but there are two types that we have to know. They are the prisms and the pyramids. The prisms have two polygonal bases and the number of sides of the bases are called triangular prism if it has three sides, quadrangular prism if it has four sides, pentagonal if it has five, hexagonal if it has six, and so on to infinity and beyond. The pyramids have a single base and a common vertex so where the edges of the lateral faces meet so it is clear that the lateral faces will always be triangular. Like the prisms, they are called by the number of sides their base has. Triangular, quadrangular, pentagonal pyramid, etc. Polyhedrons have infinite shapes and sizes. If you look around us, there are many polyhedrons. We are surrounded by them, don't you think? Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.